M0FXB. Welcome to my channel. And I've had this ATU100 tuner for quite a while. It's got a built-in battery. I noticed that they there's been talk on, on the internet about a new one called the CS818, which is being sold for a couple of hundred pounds. Now, I paid about £60 for this. It has a built-in battery, and it's a HF says it here, one point, let's say 1.8 to 55 megahertz, 100 watt tuner. Now, there is a, uh, a QRP one that's available, but I found that this, for me, this one worked better. I did have to modify it. There is a video of me modifying it. You have to just tap into it and change some of the settings, but I think it works great. So here it goes, we're on uh, 20 meters and, it, and we've already set it up. Now, normally you would have to push the button to tune and reset it and it would tune, okay? But I, I've made this one work just by using the P, just by pushing the PTT. As you can see there, it's tuning now. It's 1.1 and it's five and a half watts on a Yesu 818. If we go down the bands, we're on F, we're in FM mode at the moment. Tune again. Watch this. Key the mic, and it will just. You might have to key it. Oh, it's already got. It's, it's remembering the last time I did it. So if we go up, up, change the frequency slightly. Let's try again. Yeah, well, you can hear the relays when it kicks in, but it's rem it's, it's keeping the memory because it does have a memory. So let's um, try um, 80 meters again. There, uh, you can hear it tuning now. And it's, the antenna I'm using, 9 to 1 ballon, 20 meter length of wire. So you can see that, you know, it's not brilliant tuning, but it's done the job, 5 watts there. Let's go up. Let's go to a band we've never, we never use. FM mode, uh, TX error, so we're in the wrong thing there. Let's go up again. Let's go to 28, sorry about this. Nothing there at all. Let's push the reset. Oh, we need to be in FM, don't we? There you are, it's trying to tune. There you are, 1.7. So what I'm saying is, for the price, it's rechargeable. It's a nice small unit. I'll show you the connections on the back of it. It's just RF in, antenna. Nice and simple. Nice size. Put it in your pocket. I use this on my, if I, you know, I tend to not need to use a tuner. But if I ever do, I use it on my ICOM 705. My I have tested it on the Zygo X6100, but that has a built-in tuner, which to me works virtually in the same way. And obviously this 818, and I and it will uh, it used to I tested it on my ICOM 7300, and I know it works on my ICOM 7 my Yaesu 710. So I think for what they cost, yeah, have a little Google ATU100 or ATU40. That you know when I converted this so that it just works, so it you can just PTT, yeah. Uh, there was a learning curve to it. I had to buy a Picket programmer. Uh, but I made a video on it. If you want that video, just let me know and I'll send it you uh, of converting or just buy a QRP one. But I found that the the QRP one didn't work as well as the 100 watt one. I don't really know why. It just didn't. And I can't ex really explain why. Uh, the, the, the other thing you have to adjust is that these tend to only kick in at about two, two watts. And obviously this is the QRP radio, especially like the 705 you want it to kicking around one watt really for it to work well and so i had to change that parameter as well so it kicked in at one watt so i hope you find it interesting thanks for watching my channel atu 100 73 all the best